Now that we've been forced by our government to stay indoors at all times, what now is the issue? What now are we not doing good enough? Remember when it was, don't go outside, there's a stay-at-home order? Well, now you're not supposed to go anywhere at all. Don't go home either. This was a clip featured on Tucker Carlson Tonight. This features an individual from the World Health Organization. Let's take a look at the clip. Most of the transmission that's actually happening in many countries now is happening in the household, at family level. In some senses, transmission has been taken off the streets and pushed back into family units. Now we need to go and look in families to find those people who may be sick and remove them and isolate them in a, in a safe and dignified manner. It's just not enough, don't you see? I believe this man's name is Michael Ryan? This is the first time I've ever heard of him. Hopefully it will be the last. How far are things going to have to go before people realize this is not okay? Like most things in life, I think the truth behind all of this lies between the two perspectives. One saying that the media is overhyping things, and another saying that this is a world-ending issue that we need to deal with which includes rounding people up out of their homes if they're suspected of carrying the gift. What I don't think a lot of people have considered, that no one, no government official, no business, no one wants to be the face of how things got worse. Every variable is doing everything it can to push the blame somewhere else. I think a lot of what we have been seeing is a result of that. There have been videos of practicing doctors and physicians coming to YouTube and talking about their work behind the lines. The consensus seems to be that everything's wrong about everything. But this isn't a form of pneumonia. Rather, people are finding difficulty filling their lungs with oxygen, much like how somebody at a high altitude would. One of the doctors I saw a video of recently suggested that, in the end, the ventilators might end up doing more damage. I'll leave a link to his video, I don't want to just put all 10 plus minutes of this video as his, but a link to his channel and the video I'm referring to is in the description below. There are others out there as well, but this was the one that stuck with me, and I wanted to share it. We'll probably take a deeper look during a live stream. This isn't going to be a typical video of mine. This won't be a typical video of mine, it will be rather short, but I saw this and felt like I needed to share it and ask you guys a hypothetical question. At what point will it be too much? At what point will the government and the World Health Organization, at what point are they crossing the line for the greater good? Big shout out to the people who have been sending me these clips. I haven't been so active on the channel because I don't want to add to the, the fear. At the same time, when things come up like this, I think it's really important to keep an eye out. Big shout out to Johnny Arcade for providing these clips. Uh, he had this one at the end as well, which perfectly encapsulates the World Health Organization. Keep in mind, the World Health Organization spent months, if not years, covering for China. They seem to have a certain loyalty to the Chinese Communist Party. So after the World Health Organization praised China for the things that they were doing, you know, kidnapping journalists, making doctors disappear in the middle of the night, welding people's houses shut while they were still inside, tossing people who are still alive into incinerators. Now after all of that, the World Health Organization wants to tell us, hey, just let us go into your houses and, you know, look around a little bit. What, you don't have anything to hide, do you? This is for the greater good, don't you know? Anyway, I'll conclude this video with a more lighthearted clip featuring Dr. Teddy from the World Health Organization. This clip here really says everything I could about the World Health Organization. Today, I'm very delighted to be joined by one of the biggest names in internet entertainment in the world, Lady Gaga.